Yep. CRV. Sweet. So this is just a little overview of all the stuff that I've collected so far. I got the DA axles. I have a CRV um, OEM replacement clutch. CRV flywheel. Um, this is a water pump. Got the timing belt. Uh, OBD0 distributor. And then we got these mount kits from Hasport. What is good, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year once again. It is the 6th, well, it's probably the 7th now of January. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock, so it's the 7th. Um, last video, I left off um, pretty much just kind of cliffhanging the taking the uh, single cam out. I just need to do the gas line, the um, transmission cables, and um, the drive shaft and this power steering pump and then I can pull this thing out but honestly I've kind of been procrastinating a lot and I've kind of come to realize that a lot of the reasons I procrastinate is because of my working environment it's just a mess this whole garage is just a pigsty it's just like years of hoarding just useless stuff I mean it's got purpose but like I mean we're never gonna retile the house and if we do we're gonna probably not use the tiles that we already had in there because it's not gonna be enough um, there's just tons of stuff up in here I don't even know what all this stuff is but it's been there since I was a kid and it's been like the hardest mission to accomplish is just convincing my folks that like we probably don't need a lot of this stuff in here and uh, I'm gonna do my part and get rid of stuff too but uh, for now I really want to get started on doing the upgrades not upgrades but um, maintenance work on the b20 there um, I'm gonna be getting a rear main seal and a new thermostat uh, as soon as possible but hopefully by the end of tonight I'll get the uh, water pump and timing belt changed on that and I don't think I've ever done a timing belt on a dual cam so it's gonna be a little learning process so I'm gonna make sure that I go step by step really thoroughly thoroughly explain what's going on but before I do all that I want to be able to make space for all these parts and stuff this is all like the B series swap stuff I want that off the ground and pretty much stacked up on this table um, this table has been a mess ever since I stopped working on the seats so it's just been accumulating crap um, so I think before I do anything to tonight I'm gonna to be cleaning this workspace up so stay tuned.
So fun fact, I got this toolbox one year for Christmas and then I was doing a motor swap and I ran it over like after I started the car I just drove right into it. So it doesn't really work that well anymore. But it's still as long as you clamp as long as you clamp the set. Oh, it'll clamp shut. So something going on with this thing in here. I don't know. But yeah, check it out. This is pretty much like a little overview of the toolbox I have set up here. I just got done cleaning up most of the table here, getting rid of all the tools for the most part, and just kind of making sure I have what I need in my toolbox, and then the rest goes over to my dad's side so he can do whatever with his motorcycle with... I don't even think it uses metric stuff, probably. It's probably something stupid. Anyways, so, quick little overview. I have a cool little 10 millimeter kit off of like eBay I think it's always good to have some tens laying around because you already know the deal so I got my two complete um, Harbor Freight um, socket sets here uh, a couple random tools like this guy is good for getting snap rings off and then you just got like a basic assortment of pliers and uh, whatever those things are called and I got Pretty much all you need for wrenches working on Hondas. Start off with the 8, work your way all the way up to a 19, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. Pretty much all you need. I do like to keep these around. There is some like 6 mil stuff on the car. Can't remember where, but it's, it's there. Um, I think maybe for like uh, certain um, caps and rotors and stuff. And then you got the 8 mil. It's for like a. Uh, you know, small stuff like the uh, tail lights, bolts, and stuff like that. I got my little specialized toolkit section here. Got the uh, 32 equivalent. I'm gonna steal this until I replace my 32. I don't know what this this one's for, but I'm just gonna put it back in there. I got the uh, the crank pulley tool. I got this O2 sensor tool. <clears throat> Keep my wheel lock key in here so I don't lose it. This is for the hydraulic transmissions for that pin for the um, uh, shift linkage. And yeah, that's pretty much all you really need to work on a Honda. Just basic tool set, metric, wrenches, sockets, <coughs> breaker bar, got your ratchets, and I got my electric ratchet. Something, something happened there. Yeah, shouldn't have hit it. But yeah, so I'm just gonna finish this up right here. Um, it is already like 4 a.m. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So there it is, finally cleaned my table. I already feel way better. And um, yeah, let's fill it up with stuff. So I'm gonna be taking all these boxes down here that are all the parts that I need for the B-series swap. And I'm gonna toss them up on here and then I'm gonna call it a night. Yep, CRV.
So this is just a little overview of all the stuff that I've collected so far. I got the DA axles. I have a CRV um, OEM replacement clutch, CRV flywheel. Um, this is a water pump. Got the timing belt, uh, OBD0 distributor. And then we got these mount kits from Hasport. This is the hydraulic conversion lever assembly. And that's gonna go um, that's gonna go with the uh, young static. Let's see if I can pull it out of here. Got the uh, young static or ES static. Dana Custom, whatever he's going by, <laughs> um, little um, bracket here to, oh, I can't really see it, there you go, so this bracket is going to allow me to main, maintain, this bracket's going to allow me to um, continue to use my cable clutch, so that's going to eliminate some of the issues that I was going to have with all that in there. It's a, I haven't really even looked at this yet. Open up the boxes to make sure I had all this stuff, but I really haven't done any unveiling. So it looks like it has a similar bracket that I'm not going to be using, I don't think. And then, this is probably the lever. My cat was eating the box, so I ripped up. Another reason I wanted to bring it all outside. So this is the actual lever mechanism here. I have no idea how this works, just uh, being honest. But I will be doing a write-up on this. Or not a write-up. I might do a write-up too for the forum. That's it. This side facing trans. Hasport is LGBTQ friendly. Pretty nice looking stuff, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be like the nicest looking things on my kit. On my swap here. Alright, so there goes the hydraulic conversion kit I got uh, these are intermediate shaft bolts that I got straight from Honda and I have a DA intermediate shaft I'm not sure if that's the right one to use or not yet but that's what this is all about this looks like a passenger side motor mount this is the fun part this is the bracket that I'm gonna have to actually weld into the the frame after I take out my OEM one and I believe that they have these holes here so you can kind of um, use them as a guide to as to where um, this needs to be welded in at. And I think you can like screw in bolts here and then I think you just weld it in. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I am pretty sure well, these two pieces go together. See if another mount's in there. Game of hardware. Here goes the uh, T bracket that comes with the kit for the. This is the EFB all wheel drive for the 88 through 91 uh, Civic CRX kit from Hasport Mounts. Um, and then this is the um, replacement bracket, I believe. That's what it's called, the T-bracket. And this is like one of the issues with the all-wheel drive B-swaps before, is people had to custom make these, I believe. And, um, yeah, maybe that mount goes there, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's, that's like a super clutch part to this entire kit. This is like what held up a lot of people along with, if, so the reason you have to get one of these, uh, and the only reason, is if your car came all-wheel drive and it was manual transmission 
every other Honda Civic wagon, I don't think you have to do this with it, where you have to weld in this bracket. So just keep that in mind, do your own research, come to your own conclusions. But also don't say it to tell you if I'm right. So this one, this is going to be the, this is actually going to be the mount that goes here because this is the T bracket one. So it goes like that. I'm pretty sure this is the, this is the transmission mount, and I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to have to adjust this at all. I'm going to be kind of pissed if I do, to be honest. It's just uh, regretting opening this box now. So, I got that, and then we got the driver's side mount. Everything looks really nice. Except for this. What is going on with this? Why doesn't, why doesn't this fit in here? This is going to be such a, a big, big. Oh man, this is going to irritate the hell out of me. Uh, so yeah, there's there's the Hasport mount kit, um, and the is this Hasport? Yeah, it was Hasport too. And the uh, Hasport hydraulic to cable mechanism. And then we have a DA manual transmission 91, so it's OBD zero um, ECU. And I got this, I don't know if this is going to work, but it was only like five bucks or something like that off of eBay. And supposedly you're supposed to be able to use this adapter here and still be able to run an OBD2 alternator. So that's going to be something that I'm not sure about yet. But if I can save $100 on getting a new or used alternator uh, just by getting this plug, you know, why not do that? So... That's pretty much a quick overview of all the parts I have collected here uh, for the swap. And um, as you can see, now that I have a nice clean work environment, I mean, not anymore, I'll clean this up again. But yeah, it's, it's going down, folks. I'm getting back to work. It is January 7th. I will hope to have all my swaps done. This is going to be a really big... I'm, I am, like, obviously really agitated by the fact that this doesn't fit here um so uh, yeah it is what it is folks but i think i am gonna end the video now now that i've done something tonight i know i didn't get the uh timing belt and water pump done on that on that motor but i mean just having a nice clean workspace it's gonna help a lot just getting me motivated to get to work on all this stuff because i need the room i need the space I need to be able to move around and get things done and another reason I wanted to get all that stuff on the table here is because it was collected all around here and as you can see I got my uh, motor stand and I have my cherry picker here which is obviously going to need to come out of this corner here so I just wanted to free up some space still got to go through some boxes of stuff here and throw away what I don't need but yeah it's going down folks I'm going to keep saying that until it's done. And then I'll say it's, it, it went down, folks. But yeah, so that's going to do it. Have a good night. It is, I'm going to guess, 5 a.m.? Oh, 5.11. Let's zoom in on that. You can see it. It's 5.11. So the sun's going to be coming up here soon, and I'm going to get to editing this video. Hope you guys are all doing good out there, staying safe. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>